mount the bracket to the table and insert the tablet holder and the tablet. Start the tablet by holding the button at the top. The word Amicus will appear on the display. Swipe up to unlock the tablet and press the menu icon. In the menu, select the Amicus app to start it. To connect the tablet with your Amicus robot, press the connector icon named Robot and select Connect. To end the connection, press Disconnect. To keep your tablet in best working condition, we recommend to update regularly. To update, press Info on the bottom right, then select Check for updates. As hinted during creation of an exercise, different parameters can be adjusted individually. To play a ball farther to the left, drag the ball on the display to the left or to the right accordingly. With the buttons below, frequency, delay, side spin, speed and spin can be adjusted. Should the speed be too high, move the button speed to the left. To increase speed, move it to the right. Moving the spin button to the left increases backspin, moving it to the right increases topspin. The left button flattens or curves the trajectory. To add a ball, press the plus icon and set your parameters. You can press Sample to test your selection. Only one ball is played with your current settings. If these are correct, you can press Play to start your exercise. To delete an exercise, press and hold the ball icon and select Delete from the context menu. To add a new exercise, press New on the top right. In the following menu, parameters for placement, frequency, side spin, speed and spin can be individually adjusted. The ball placement on the table can be seen on the display. After adjusting your desired settings, press Save to save the exercise to memory. To rename an exercise, press Edit, select the desired exercise and enter a new name. When finished, press Save and Done. You can start playing your selected exercise by pressing Play. Frequency of each ball can be adjusted as well as all other parameters. The current ball is shown in orange. To create a new sequence, press Save, then Save to Sequence and Add New Sequence. Your new sequence has now been saved. Select the desired exercise and press Save, then Save to Sequence. Select the next free table pictogram to add the exercise to the current sequence. All exercises of the current sequence are now displayed. This allows you to create specific sequences, for example, footwork training. To activate interval training, press Cycle. In the upcoming window, either choose from pre-saved intervals or create one yourself. Use the Play button to adjust the length of playing and the length of pause.
To activate the scatter function, press random, then check scatter to extend the scatter radius of balls from 13 to 40 cm. You can also randomize the placement. To do so, check Place R&D and select Play Exercise. Apart from that, there's the Type R&D function. The Random function allows to combine both random modes. To activate, check all random functions in the menu. This video shows a combination of Place R&D and Type R&D. The mirror function allows you to mirror an exercise or sequence on the main line, which helps to switch between left and right-handed players without changing the settings of the current exercise. To activate, simply press Mirror. Usually, balls are played in a constant frequency. The surf function adds a delay after the first ball to enhance realism. To use the surf function, press surf. Using the IFC function delays the ball frequency. To activate, either move the ball per minute button to the left to decrease the delay or to the right to increase it.